Hello and welcome to Writer Rant, author advice in five minutes or less because I have to get back to writing and so do you. So I want to continue a little bit about what I talked about last week uh, in terms of characters being out of character, right? So a lot of reasons why we have these huge changes in characters essentially acting the way that we don't expect them to is because there's not an understanding of consequences, right? So actions have consequences. We know this from physics, we know this from just pretty much every interaction that we ever encounter in our human lives. And so when you're writing your book, you've got to consider what actions in your book have wider reaching consequences, right? So I mean, you can be at home and you can sneeze and find that the box of Kleenex is empty or whatever. It's like, you know, that's kind of a one-on-one -on -one type of consequence. Like, oh no, I'm out of... Kleenex, so now I gotta go to the store and I gotta buy more, right? So that's only kind of a simple you know, consequence, right? It's the bigger consequence. It's like, oh hey, I went to the store and the store was on fire. And so suddenly, you know, there's there's firemen involved, there's you know a period of time that the grocery store's gonna be closed, there's gonna be all these kind of things that will be essentially repercussions, consequences of the single event. And so when you have an action in your story that is very big, right, what are the consequences of that? What are the far-reaching consequences? Because, yeah, if you just have this event in your book in order to get, you know, one character to kind of break through their shell to then, you know, do character growth, you know, that's okay, but you know, what if that event also affects other minor characters and villains and enemies and all those kind of things? You know, sometimes these events are really big, and if you don't include some of those tertiary and secondary consequences of it, you know, your readers can be like, well, hey, wait a minute. You know, and when your reader starts questioning what you're writing, you know, there's a good chance that you're going to either confuse them or just alienate them completely and they'll just stop reading. And those are, again, those are places you do not want to put your reader because you want them engaged, that you want them believing in the world that you've created. And, I mean, we live in a world that's very logical. You know, things make sense when they go, you know, one step to another. They're very sequential, right? Some things don't make sense and that's fine. But in a book, you have control over the universe, so you have to make sure that everything is logical, everything follows, right? So your reader can follow along, because if you lose your reader, you lose the game, right? You have to keep your reader, kind of string them along, have a little bit of foreshadowing, have a little bit of, you know, hints, essentially, to, oh, hey, hey, there's this big event, and, oh, hey, I hear... You know, this affected some people over here, this affected some people over there, you know, either newscasts or newspapers or whatever, you know, intergalactic communique, however you do it. You just got to show that the events that happen in your story have consequences, and the consequences, you know, may be bigger than the story itself, right? And so that can have a lot of different branching paths. And you got to make sure that you cover those at least somewhat. You don't don't wanna spend a whole lot of time on them. You don't want to do exposition dump of like, oh, hey, here's every infinite amount of consequence that happened from, you know, an atom bomb going off or whatever. Because then you get into other issues. Just make sure that whatever happens from the events in your book, it's logical, and you show the consequences. It's really what it comes down to. So it's that simple. So. What about your readers? Have you read anything and you're like, you know, that just, that doesn't quite link. That's not logical. You know, drop a comment below. Tell us about it. Uh, maybe I'm not the only one who's reading these types of books. Uh, if you're a reader or a writer who has something in the process of reading or writing that kind of irks you, uh, by all means, yeah, just drop a comment below and maybe I'll get to it in a future episode. And thanks for watching this episode of Writer Rant. I'm Benjamin M. Weilert.